All right, all y'all have been wanting me to do fried chicken for a while. Okay, I'll do fried chicken, even though I already did it in the fried and the chicken eggplant. No, what was that? Chicken Parmesan video. But we can't just have plain fried chicken because that's just like, really? Fried chicken? So we're going to do a whole fried chicken. The entire thing. The whole thing. Because there's lots of potential for danger and disaster when you're frying a whole chicken. Safety preparations. Fried nipple! Not so good! Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence. I know it's been a while, sorry about that. With me, your host and chef du jour, Sean. Sorry, I had a couple of rocketry videos. I had to get that out of my system. I hope you enjoyed them because I'm quite the rocket man these days. Or something. Maybe on Cooking Under the Influence, I'll do a rocket fuel episode because I've been looking up chemistry recipes to make rocket fuel. That would be fun. However, today we're just going to cook regular food. As I said in my intro, we're doing chicken. A whole fried chicken. The whole thing. But before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. Yay! And I have a live studio audience today. Alright, today's drink is French 75s. French 75. I have no idea where I got that name. Anyway, we started without you. What is in a French 75? I found two recipes. I'll be making them both. All right, we're going to start with ice, but not right this very second. Supposedly a Myers lemon. It's not a Myers lemon. Half a lemon. Well, the juice of half a lemon. And if you put just like a lemon in there, that would kind of that would be a pain in the butt. I Okay, supposedly a sugar cube. I don't have sugar cubes. So we're making do. All right, this is where the recipes diverge. You can use either gin. Here's some now. Or brandy, cognac. Cognac is made from champagne. Why is that important? Because the next ingredient is champagne. Okay, this isn't champagne, technically. This is sparkling wine. It's Prosecco. It's Italian. But you get the idea. Our brandy, French 75, and our gin, French 75. Alright, despite my insistence that you can mix brandy or champagne, I like the gin better. French 75, I don't know where we get that. Appalachian. Maybe it's because there's 75 milliliters of shit in it. All right, so let's get cooking, shall we? But Sean, how do you make a whole fried chicken? Doesn't it have to be in bits and pieces and all that? Hell, here in New Orleans, they make fried turkeys, the whole damn turkey in a big giant pot. So I figure, why can't I do the same thing with the damn chicken? It's a thought, what the hell? This is a little bit of new technology I'm gonna to try tonight. Put the chicken in there. Make sure the pot you're using is small enough or big enough to do the whole chicken. What do you know? It is. <clears throat> hmm. Let's put some Earl up in there. Ten State, you know, 10W40. That works really nicely. Now the question of how much oil to use is interesting because this chicken, if you're familiar with Archimedes, is going to displace a lot of oil. So we don't want it to flow, run all over the damn place. So in case it does overflow, make sure you have a nice fire extinguisher, especially if you're using gas, which I'm not. This is where the disaster comes in. My disasters are generally your amusement. Breading a whole chicken, that sounds like fun. You not know how to make an egg wash? Well then, you're just lame. And I've covered it several times on this goddamn show, so go back and look at my old videos. Since we're doing a whole chicken, it cooks for a long time. 
and breadcrumbs burned. So I'm just using chicken, chicken fry. All right, I'm gonna be all dietary conscious and take the skin off the chicken. That makes fried chicken real low calorie. Not, not that I have any guilt about eating shit anyway. Wow, that chicken is pretty well hung. Mm. Membranes. Insane in the membrane. Women? Insane in the membrane! Please don't do that. We don't like it. Let's take our naked dead chicken. Do egg wash. Get a little egg wash up in the abdomino oh shit. Abdominothoracic cavity. For all you people that know anatomy and physiology. Oh, god damn it. A little bit of a pain in the ass. You know how they say that Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, somehow syncs up with The Wizard of Oz? If you turn the sound off. And I, I've heard that, yes. Yeah. That wet hand, dry hand technique that I described a while back, it's you know, hard to do with this. I tried that. I downloaded it. Get the breading. All up in the little cracks and crannies and nooks and crevices. All in all, you're just a little break in the wall. Whoever came up with that had to have been really, really stoned. Who would have thought it? I mean, tripping on acid and pot and God only knows what else. What is the difference between a nook and a cranny? It was just like watching The Wizard of Oz with Pink Floyd playing. I understand Nook. I don't know what a cranny is. But if it, evidently, seeing as I'm putting all this stuff in all the nooks and crannies of the chicken, there are crannies in the chicken. Perhaps it's a biological structure. That's the thing. You want good flow. Mm. Alright, let's put our chicken in the. Now, here comes whatever the, this thing is. Here comes the dangerous part. This is one of the dangerous parts, right here. Whoa! Ah! God, that hurt. Turn the heat down, obviously. I don't know the rest of the song. Ah! It's burning the top. Let's get rid of the oil before it catches fire. That's a great idea, Sean. No, this displacement principle worked great because I didn't overflow the pot. Thank you, Archimedes. Eureka! Now turn the heat down because this takes a while to cook. If you leave it hot, you're going to burn the outside. You're going to burn the outside and not cook the inside. And you don't want fried raw chicken. That would suck. Mm. Alright, in the meantime, we're going to steam some veggies. Have a little bit of discipline and eat some vegetables. I'm going to steam some broccoli. Not complicated. If you can't figure out how to steam a vegetable, I mean, here I'm giving you like a freaking video how to, then you just go make a damn sandwich. That doesn't fit at all. I'm going to make one with gin this time. Oh boy, I feel a hangover coming on tomorrow. The optimist says, oh, it's half full. The pessimist says, oh, it's half empty. In reality, here's 120 milliliters in the glass. Okay? Get it straight. The drone says another one, please. Wait, where do I fit in? Hmm. Hmm. I almost stabbed my lip. That's one nice thing about cruciferous vegetables. You put the broccoli or the cauliflower or the Brussels sprouts or whatever in there and you get the same amount as when you take it out. Steamed Brussels sprouts give you wicked gas. Steam Brussels sprouts do give you wicked gas, which is so much fun when you're with a bunch of people you don't like. Fuck the people in the elevator. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. Cooked on the bottom and not on the top, so we gotta flip it. How scary is that shit? So, let's flip the bird. Okay, this is where it has disaster written all the fuck over it. Let's flip you the bird. I'm totally taking credit for that, even though 
<laughs> Even though you gave me an idea, that's brilliant. Oh, no. Ah! 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 Burn my titty! Fuck! Fried nipple! Not so good! Thank God for fucking alcohol. I think your chicken's kind of done. How do I know? How do you know? I don't. And let's take it out with our little netty thing. Ooh. Netty pot. Not bad. Like all fried things, let's salt and pepper it right out of the fryer. Trinity. Salt, pepper, garlic. That's not the Trinity. The Trinity is... Garlic? No, it's onion, celery, peppers. The later on novena. Garlic is part of the later on novena. I was an altar boy when I was a kid. Yeah. And I never got messed with by the priest. Was it because I was ugly? What's wrong with me? Well, seeing as you can eat broccoli even when it's raw, you can steam it as long or as short as you want. And it'll be good. So there's a non-answer for you. Popeyes, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. Darling. Whole fried chicken. That looks pretty damn fucking good. And a box of chicken fry. What are we doing here? We're letting the meat rest. You want dead things to rest. Is all that low heat makes all the bones softer. Ow. Damn, it's hot. That looks delicious. Mm. Try it. Oh my god. Mm. That is so good. It's my happy face. Bon appetit. Enjoy your fried chicken. Your whole fried chicken. And adios. I'm not the man they think I am. I